Just set this up using a uh, web core cast API for the Google Chromecast um, action tiles. And uh, this is a Amazon Fire tablet, which hosts the action tiles. Um, at some point, once the equipment gets here, um, that'll be mounted right here where this hole is. Currently there's um, alarm wires coming from inside of there, which all run to the um, connected alarm boards, which are set up inside of here. So if we actually open this up here, you see I got the connected, the two connected alarm panel boards. Um, this right here was for the old alarm panel that was actually on that board. But two of these wires are actually powering the um, that uh, beeper that are currently there. And then of course, um, Cast API is running through this uh, Raspberry Pi. So, let me close this up. So. Anyway to the alarm here. If we look at the if we take a look at the panel, um, you can see currently the alarm is off. Um, don't mind the icon. I still have to change that. A uh, really easy fix inside of action tiles. I just haven't done it yet. Anyway, um, so if I go and hit this, it's pin protected. So um, this will turn on the alarm. So uh, there's the alarm signal. Now um, the alarm is active. I did disable the motion detector that's right there um, only because of this demo. I didn't want to be setting it off a thousand times here. And I also disabled the siren. So when we do set it off, um, it doesn't make the wife angry. So uh, if we look at the door here, I'll go ahead and I'll unlock the door and I'll open it up. And you'll notice that contact sensor changed. Enter alarm pin. So Google's announcing the enter alarm pin, which will do for five seconds. Enter alarm pin. So I'll go in here and I'll enter the pin number one. Enter alarm pin. Enter alarm pin. You see that that goes through action tiles, which pushes the smart Alarm pins. deactivated. And um, the alarm's deactivated. Um, so that's just an example of utilizing this for the alarm. Now, if I were to just not activate, deactivate the alarm, so we'll go ahead and reactivate the alarm here. All right, so now the alarm's active, and this time I'll go ahead and I'll open up the garage door. Garage door. Enter alarm pen. And soon we'll just let this go Enter off. Enter alarm pen. It'll go off six times. Enter alarm pen. Just gives the uh, guest or whoever coming over the time to actually Enter activate. alarm pen. Enter alarm pen. Enter alarm pen. All right, now the volume just turned up on the Google. Alert intruder, seek shelter. Contacts have been notified. And then I also, I received text messages, of course I can't show them Alert in the video. Intruder, but seek um, shelter. Contacts have been notified. See that, um, it also plays on all floors. Alert intruder, seek shelter. Contacts have been notified. So then when I go ahead and deactivate the alarm. Alert intruder, seek shelter. Contacts have been notified. Mm -hmm. Alert intruder, seek shelter. Contacts have been notified. Mm, the alarm turns off. So here you see the um, four automations inside of WebCore for the alarm trigger. 
Um, so if we go ahead and we look at alarm automation, just something I didn't mention in the video. Um, you see here that uh, basically if, if my wife or I, if our presence changes and um, both of us aren't present, then it'll take the alarm on off, which is the um, basically to set the alarm status. Um, it'll turn that on. Um, then uh, when we arrive and we are present, so if these don't apply, right, it'll jump into the else. And then um, at that point, if the alarm, um, if the alarm isn't currently going off, then it will turn off the alarm, set the alarm status back to um, the off mode. So that way we don't have to enter the code when we come in the house.